So here's a throwback on the channel. We haven't been to the old Erie Canal in quite a while. And an informational sign, my favorite. <laughs> <Your> favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and this is about Chittenango Pottery. The Chittenango Pottery Company. And this is from the early 1900s. And right here is what's left of it. Pretty fabulous. This was built in 1898 to 1899. Let's see if I can match up this picture to how it is now because this building's gone right here and this is the one that we currently see I'd say that might be the about the right perspective I think I'm close hello again or hello for the first time from Chittenango New York Chittenango pottery we just saw and we're actually going to take a closer look at that just across the canal here we're at the New York State historic old Erie Canal are you excited to be here? <laughs> it's a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. I'm a little chilly. Yeah, it's a little cold I'll be cold happy out. when we start walking. Yeah, so let's go. In the meantime, we'll take a look at this side of this historic building. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. And they were doing some work on it. So we're across the canal right now. This is uh, the other side of Chittenango Pottery. The brickwork is gorgeous. Yeah, and the front door here with the old lantern. Yeah, but it's posted private property. We're just hanging out on the road here and just thought we'd take a gander at it. So this is a pretty nice place to spend an afternoon, have a picnic lunch and everything. We have a, there's a bike park, BMX, and a skateboard park over there. We got a, Got a guy coming out of his car with his board. And then you can see this historic place. And then further on here, we're gonna walk past a nice picnic area. And then even past that, Chittenango Landing, which is an old spot on the canal where they used to, um, amongst other things, repair uh, boats, boatyard road. Chittenango Landing Canal Boat Museum. Town of Sullivan Historian's Office is here too. And there's a visitor center. Oh, here's a website if you want to take a look at that. Madison Tourism, that's the county name, Madison. These guys are on like Instagram and Facebook. They're really active on, they used to be really active on Twitter. I don't know now because I don't go on Twitter. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll have to come back this summer to check this out. Yeah, is that a boat over there? Yeah, we'll have to check this out and so hit subscribe and we will be back. Definitely. And these guys open in May. Uh, I think it's the first week of May, first weekend. So we'll be back. We'll be back soon. For right now we're gonna go across the canal again back to where we started but the other side of the other side of this semi-busy road <laughs> so uh, we can see into uh, the other side of this museum it's pretty amazing to just walk up to the old foundation here I mean we're still on the road but come across another informational sign these are my favorite if you don't know yet uh, it's, it says there was a cannery here at the crosswaters the canal increased industry productivity it quickly brought raw materials and workers to factories and made shipping faster and cheaper than transporting over land. Some structures of the canal were even specially designed for multiple uses to further increase efficiency. And this photo right here, you take a look at this building with the kind of the white foundation. We have uh, what would be one, two, a doorway, three, four windows. Right down here, one, two, this part of the wall is gone. Doorway, three, four windows. And then down the canal here, very recognizable. 
these smokestacks from our first informational sign that we saw, and that's just down that way. Chittenango Pottery. Decent view down the canal there. And in case you want to know where we are, DeWitt, Fayetteville, we're here in Chittenango. Just about right there in the G. We just saw someone walk across this bridge. Yeah, they were jogging. Yeah. So we're gonna go across the bridge and I don't see the Harmon walking across to this bench. The boat operator would pull in here. This mound of grass wasn't there. And there's a few bays that they would walk, work on your boat. They'd be able to drain it, make sure you could float. <laughs> and I read someplace this is the only one that remains on the old, on the Erie Canal. So this is a bird's eye perspective of this area where we are. And you can see docks for these boats. And that's, it's right there. And then this is the cross water. So any, anything coming to be canned at that factory would come down here from town. Travel north up here. And then be able to be unloaded and canned right in the uh, buildings on this property right here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to come back because there's a whole bunch of stuff here to look at. It's really pretty here. You must know you love these. Yeah, I, <laughs> I do. And then, yeah, this is uh, 315 Rocks. They're on Facebook. And they leave these everywhere. You can paint one yourself. They're very and cute. Leave it. And you just go on and log it. That's cute. And yeah, here's a, uh, a drawing of the area. And then there's active service right here. And this little inset, after this section of the canal closed in 1917, these dry docks became a dumping ground. In 1985, people of Chittenango rediscovered the site and soon began restoring the buildings and docks. And there's another photo here of a traffic jam on the canal. It says August 30, 1889, a boat with a hole in its side sank before it could get to the dry docks at Chittenango Landing. Another boat trying to pass became stuck and created a blockade. Over a hundred boats were forced to stop on the canal, a pileup that must have stretched for miles. It took over 15 hours to clear the way for boats to move again. That's quite the traffic jam. I know, they almost made it. Down this way, right before the goose, there's two more informational signs. This is like, this is like a field day for me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then, here we have the, uh, dry docks over there. Now that it told me what it was. <laughs> then, yeah. Oh, so this is the Chittenango feeder. So it's a feeder canal. So the water comes from Casanova Lake and Tuscarora Lake reservoirs that feed the Chittenango Creek. And the Chittenango Canal uh, is uh, just brings the water here, but then businesses would also use it to transport their goods on. Okay, so this one might go quickly since I don't want to disturb this goose. And it tells about the dry dock service centers. So the gates would close here, and they would drain it. I'll be in this video. Okay, bye. It's really pretty. I could have just curled up on that bench and taken a nap because yeah, the sun's wonderful. out now. 
It feels so good. <laughs> it's so peaceful. It's a pretty historic area and uh, worth checking out if you have uh, if you have the time and picnic lunch. Mm -hmm. Heck, there's enough things to do around here, especially in the summer. Well, more in the summer than you know just the winter. But anyway, even yeah. if it's just going for a walk, yeah. checking out the scenery. So I hope you enjoyed it coming along with us. If you did, uh, click thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And if you really enjoyed it, <laughs> you want to see more videos, we do have a whole bunch more on our channel, which you can also get to uh, by clicking our icon down below and hit subscribe after you watch a few and you like them. And we always want to thank our subscribers. Yeah. You give us the motivation to get out there and see more things. So thank you so much. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.